This is the Kyoritsu Type 2 electric car charger adapter that allows you to do some tests independently or also by connecting it to a multifunction device. Kyoritsu comes with this very comfortable carrying case and also comes with his printed manual with all the details of operation. We are going to test it with a portable emergency electric car charger. But before that, it is important to check the correct polarity with this Equia Ripso smart socket tester and also that the ground bed is at a value that corresponds to the regulations only now. So shall we continue with the rehearsal? On the back of the portable charger, we can find a guide to be able to understand the states according to a color code that is shown on the front of the charger. Since on the digital screen, it is not possible to access so much information simultaneously, and now we are going to connect the electric car charger to the network to be able to do the tests with the Kyoritsu adapter and the multifunction. Let's see the parameters that this portable electric car charger shows us on the screen. The temperature, the input and output voltages, the power, the time, the energy consumed. In addition, it tells us whether or not the ground is connected and also whether there is already a connection from the charger with its smart plug to the electric car. And now, yes, are we going to connect then? The electric car charger plug with the adapter plug to be able to do the tests. Since the charger is single phase, we only have a line PEY neutral connector and also two control cables. As we can see, we then connect the charger with the adapter and we are ready to begin our tests. We are going to start with the first test in which the knob is in position A, which is equivalent to electric vehicle disconnected from the charger. And we are then going to simulate the loss of the ground connection. And look what happens how the charger output gets blocked until the ground connection returns to the circuit. Let's go then to the next rehearsals. For that, we place the knob in state B, which means auto connected in standing by that is waiting for the charge. And here in this case, it is where if we were in a commercial charger with our card, we would be authorizing the charge to begin. We move to state C, simulating that the car is already connected and authorized to charge. In this case, we also remove the PE. Look again, it's blocked. And uh, we're going to add this test, which turns out to be a kind of short circuit between the pilot control and the ground wire. And notice that we also have a practically immediate lockdown until we stop doing the tests and everything returns to normal. And finally, we are going to connect the multifunction equipment to the adapter for electric car chargers with which we will be able to carry out more specific tests. We are going to begin with the low current loop test between the IP line to be able to verify that the grounding impedance is correct so that the installation of the charger is safe. The value will, of course, depend on each country. In this case, we are going to pass the knob from state A that is self-disconnected to B. That would be connected and finally makes it would be the state of auto-connected and charging. And then we are going to carry out this test that will allow us to know the value of the grounding impedance and thus ensure that the installation is safe for the use of the electric vehicle charger. As you can see, the courage is inside. Of the regulations and we then proceed to carry out the next test. And now we go to the insulation resistance test. Notice that I chose 500V 
You can use the value you want and let's see that the knob is in position B. In this adapter, you see that it is in BY. I want to show you the following. If by chance, by accident, I place it in C, notice how the alarm immediately lights up to tell me that the test should not be carried out in those conditions, because then there is tension. And to measure the resistance of the ion, there does not have to be tension. Notice is given to me instead of the essay, which is telling me it's in perfect condition. And now we go to the differential protection test. As we see in the electric vehicle adapter, the knob is in position B, which would simulate self-connected, but not charging. And in the multifunction equipment, we have the electric vehicle differential test configuration prepared. We put the adapter knob in position C because we are going to need current circulation. And then we begin with the differential protection tests. The multifunction starts with the 6 milliamp DC protection test and then continues with the 30 milliamp AC protection tests in each of these tests. As you can see, to reset the charger, we need to remove it. The mains attention and put it back on because otherwise this charger is blocked when a ground fault occurs, as you can see. And that way I can follow the sequence. Note that I invariably need to disconnect the attention every time a shot occurs. You see him there? Notice that. I need to reactivate it again because otherwise I can't continue. You see, I have to turn it off and back on. Then internally it is set again and the automatic test continues until reaching the end. There are only two left, that is, I left it so that you can see it in real time as the entire test is done. And you can also appreciate the final values later. There are very few, one more left and we finish this differential switch test that this portable electric vehicle charger brings. So we are going to the last shot and we will now be able to have on screen the results of the tests of the differential protection incorporated in this charger. Of electric vehicle. And now let's look in more detail at what the EV adapter knob states mean. Kyoritsu in position A is simulating us self-disconnected C. The voltages are practically below 2V. And now we are going to see the status of the knob in position B. The adapter simulates that the electric vehicle is plugged in, i.e connected, but not charging. There is hardly a small voltage generated by the load of the control circuits, as you can see there, 2.9V, which was previously a voltage well below 2V, and finally we have position C. Look how it is charging there. We have a consumption. So notice that we already have the tensions, see? That's three DAOs. H, differences with the three positions, which are honestly a simulation of an electric vehicle in those three states, which would be disconnected, connected, and connected, and charging. There you can also see, look at each one of the states. The positions I'm showing you, look at the A or previous one, it was in A, it is in B, also look there as there is the symbol of plug A, where the Earth is above on the right, in the viewfinder that is already telling me that it is. Connected, observe it, C, but the voltages, as I showed you above, are still at a very low value because there are only control loads connected. 
Now, when we put it in position, mm. it is observed that there is already consumption, I don't know, and there are network tensions. And this would be basically, at a conceptual level, the difference between the three states. What does this electric vehicle adapter have? And now we are going to see another feature of this electric vehicle adapter, which is the connection from the back that has an outlet and allows through a plug, we can connect the multifunction or any other equipment since this electric vehicle adapter is compatible. With any multifunction instrument, in this case, I'm going to show you how I connected it from the back. There I am hooking the cables and you will see how I can also take the same measurements as if I connected it from the front panel. There observe that I have it in A, I pass it to B, I pass it to C and it works perfectly. Whether plugged in from the front panel or from the outlet located on the back of the EV adapter. And also now I want to show you how this Kuripsu electric vehicle adapter is compatible with any multifunction equipment on the market. And can it also be connected from the front panel or can it also be connected by the power outlet located on the back of the adapter. In this case, I programmed an automatic test of the differential protection of the electric vehicle charger and note how I am not having any type of incompatibility when using two different brands of instruments. Finally, we are going to conduct one more rehearsal. With another multifunction equipment from the competition, so you can see how easy it is to take measurements with this Cripsus adapter, whether with your own brand or any you have in stock. In this case, place the adapter knob at C to be able to measure the ties. Notice that there I am measuring the loop between the YPE line. the link between line and neutral and the link between neutral and PE. A few seconds plus some checks on this multifunction equipment. And we are going to see the data on the screen for a few seconds, like I said, and there it is. That is the result. And I believe that more evidence than this is not necessary. And now it is. that our electric vehicle, after we have already done all the checks, is waiting for us to recharge it.